Hello pilots and welcome back to Flight Academy. It's time for season two. This series is brought to you by Out of Art Gaming and as always, my name is Phil. 11 players go head to head in a round robin single ship tournament to find out who is the ace pilot. The format rules are in the description below, but joining me for round two, game five, we have... And my name as always, as, long, as far as I'm aware, is Fraser. Hey Fraser, welcome back. So we have the final game of round two here. Uh, Jamie's first appearance in Flight Academy, he did have the bye in round one as we have an odd number of players. So welcome to Flight Academy, Jamie. Great to have you on board. And we have Wes returning after his crushing victory against Ben, hoping to see if he can make it two for two. But let's run through those lists. I will update us on what Wes has got. He has Poe Dameron in the T-70 with Heroic, BB-8, Pattern Analyzer and the integrated S-Foils. And again, reminder, this is the OG Poe Dameron, the trigger happy flyboy from the conversion and the T-70 packs and not the one from Heralds of Hope. Nice. What's Jamie got? So Jamie, who is uh, uh, bringing out the Force users, I don't actually believe we have many Force users in this tournament. He has got Kylo Ren in the Thai Whisper. So that's uh, Supreme Leader Kylo. He has Heightened Perception. He's got Predator. He also has the Ion Missile, Pattern Analyzer, and of course he's taken the Jamming Sweet Config card. It's actually a second so, Config card, isn't it? Double slot. It is a double slot, yes. Um, so yeah, we have the Battle of the Sequels here. Um, and yet this time, Kylo is the only Force user we have of the 11 pilots in the tournament. Last season, we had two Force users. This season, we only have the one. Um, but it's it's an interesting matchup. Again, we have Poe in the T-70. He is a scary prospect. And in the nicest way possible, that Whisper, cool ship, can be quite fragile. So it's true. going to have to be careful against Poe. But I think that heightened perception could be a big factor in this game yeah, to be honest. Yeah, no, it's a great case for it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you've already it, it's quite a low-costed upgrade mm -hmm. and you're already initiative 5, so you're likely to be matching or exceeding a fair amount of pilots, but when you come up against someone who does have that initiative on you, it is going to be a very solid option and yep. hopefully bring him some good favour throughout the tournament. But we'll just have to see, spending the force though, that's where it does become costly. Luckily, Kylo does bring three to the table. So he's he's got a few to spare, should we say? Potentially. But it's it's a hard one. I mean, I don't know who I would be putting my money on with these two well in this in this kind of situation again i would say the whisper's not a jousting vessel mm. so i think to do that there you go that's just a very traditional chug 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 along steam train x-wing maneuver that's what i'm trying to say yeah interestingly and, though it would appear Ooh. that Wes is backing out of that joust. I yeah, mean, don't I want would, it. I would have potentially thought that he would have quite liked that, but with, I suppose, Predator, Height of Perception, and Kylo's ability there, probably wouldn't have come into effect this round, but it would be something that will give you pause for thought, I suppose. Yeah, I can I can understand it certainly. And that's a lovely but, hard one to follow up as well. Yeah. I mean having that white hard one on the ship is having such a hard a... one is good. Is 
it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a great anyway. it's a great maneuver to have, but I think a lot of ships that have it, it's a red maneuver. So having it as white is really good. Having it as blue, a few ships oh, yeah. have that is just absolutely crazy. But five e one. Yeah, but I do like that talent there from Poe using that pattern analyzer. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And will we see the trigger of the Poe charge? Although he is already stressed, so I don't know. He would. He, I don't know if he can do that. Yeah, I don't. I don't believe you can. I think you do. A, you probably also a red action want, following. Yeah, you probably also wouldn't want to, because you'd potentially be double stressing yourself. But yeah. range one into the side there from Poe. Oh, blank out! That, oh wow! That is just. You don't Maybe expect that. Relief, then, yeah. But. It's resistance. And they have a card for that. They do indeed. And it's called heroic. And it so works. Which it doesn't is, always. It doesn't always. I mean, you don't expect to blank out on four red dice there. Uh, but Wes has just. He's seen that he's got the lovely heroic alt art yeah. card. Just double checking it. It's all four yeah, blanks. He's got all. I can use it. I can you use can re roll those. How successful will it be, though? Just the one crit, so not Ooh. massively successful, but it was more successful. Yeah, but it's still not, very, not much more successful. Yeah, it's still an additional. Mm. Oh, and it goes through. How long? Nice. Yeah. Again, another one of those green dice hate you moments. Oh, they do. They absolutely do. Green dice are not your friend. No. But big sloop there from Kylo. I like that. It's. Mm. I think that's a really good move there. It's avoiding that gas cloud so you don't run the risk of ionising yourself. And it, it gives you quite a nice wide arc there to catch Poe. What will Jamie do with his pattern analyzer? I wonder. Because with the enhanced jabbing suite, he has access to like a billion different options. So just taking the evade, probably, yeah, okay. probably a good idea there. Actually, he could have been a bit more aggressive potentially, but it's very understandable. He could have been, but after taking that early damage there, I know it's only one damage, yeah. but after taking early damage, you, you do have to react to that. And I, I think you can overreact, but I think at the moment he's that's not he's got the right reaction there because yeah. Poe is in a great position again. So he can focus, spend his charge, yeah, and gain a target lock. Exactly as he's done. Beautiful. This is a double modded shot coming at you. You're guaranteeing to evade at least one. Triggering heightened perception. Yeah. To right up. This is the exact time you want to do it. So range one, not in the bullseye. So only three dice. Yeah. Because it's using Very close its turret. Star, so yeah. Only just a missing bullseye. Oh, two hits. Mm -hmm. That's not too bad. If it was Bullseye, would have had Predator. Yeah. Uh, spending the target lock. Two Get hits three. and a crit. Nice. Good, good roll. And that looks blank to me. Uh, he's got oh, a no. focus. He's got a focus. So he's debating: does he take all three shields? No, I think no, that's I the think... right option. Yeah. Yeah. I two shields. Save, save that save your health it's nice to have a double modded shot but I mean in theory he's got a lot of backup there so spending the target lock focus would have been nice but Ooh, that's that's still two hits of the crit that's strong both strong hits from both chaps oh having to spend the force oh, no. and the evade to take one shield. So again, that evade paying dividends there. Yeah. But yeah. 
That's a lot of force spendage there from Jamie, unfortunately, which not ideal. But I'm I'm glad he had he ne needed to use the evade. It can be quite. It's not particularly satisfying if you then have to if you don't get to use it. I mean. Yeah, I mean it 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 validates his decision to take yeah. that evade. Yeah. Because without that evade, he'd have been taking a crit right there, and that's dangerous territory. There's so many crits in there that can really mess you up. I mean, being a force user, there are some that you can essentially avoid, like blinded pilot suddenly isn't an issue, but it will necessitate your spending of force yeah. to modify, which you want to do as a last resort if possible. Um, yeah, we all know that force uh, force users can become quite weak when they run out. So, yeah, there's very, there's very few pilots. In fact, I can only think of of one that would be just want you to just plow through all your force. Anyone? Who would that I'm be? I'm giving people, giving people a moment. Defender Vader. Oh yeah, I suppose yeah, because he's he's limited on where he can use his force though. Yeah, so. exactly. It's not worth holding on to it. Yeah, we don't again don't see much of him. But he's a very expensive pilot. I love him. I think he's brilliant, but he's just he's very expensive. So it's it's tricky to get him into a list. Yeah, I I've, I've never thought of him as a competitive thing. He's he's great fun, of course, but oh yeah, defenders are expensive at the best of times. Yeah, it's a shame. I love the Defender. I think it is a, a cracking chassis, but yeah, it's expensive. Good for what, really good for what it is, though, especially yeah. if you get the right build. And it's justifiably but, expensive as well. You, yeah. Everyone who's used one or fought against one understands why it's expensive. And that's why we don't see them in this, because the only ones you can get is the I1 Delta, and you can't get very many upgrades on them because you have eight points to spend on upgrades Indeed. because it's 67 points. I mean, you can get three Scum Falcons in a list, at least in 2.0. In the 200 yeah. points, you get three Scum Falcons in a list, yet you can't get two Defenders. That just shows how powerful the Defender is known to be. Yeah. So, but a face-off here, long-range face-off, Pistols at Dawn, don't think we're going to be... Yep, no shots coming in there. But it has allowed Kyler to get all of his force back, and they both have target locks on each other, so... Are we just going to charge straight in and joust? I wouldn't I wouldn't oh. advise it there, Jamie. It's not great. Mm. Poe would love you to do it. I think Poe's loving it, yeah. Just checking the enhanced jabbing sweep for the plethora of actions and linked actions that you can do. So, Yeah, and he's gone for just a straight up jam. I think it might have been a focus jab. I'm not entirely sure. Well, I think the, the token is hidden behind. Uh, the reason I was I was assume just jam because if he does, if he focuses and then jams himself, he would lose the focus. True. Which there is that. It is it's the annoying thing with the jam that you Although you can jam yourself to get the extra dice, you would then lose your your green token. Unless you chose to break the lock. But I think I'd rather keep a target lock. Because you've got force as well, so there's potentially yeah. a high turning mechanic there, and you've got the lock to keep to re-roll your blank. So I want a high just perception. A high perception just missing that bullseye though, so it's oh. only gonna be two dice unless he goes for ion missiles. We've seen we've seen a very good use of iron ions throughout the tournament so far. So I think it could be worth it. I mean, it's, it's a three die shot rather yeah. than. So let's see. Yeah, it looks like we are going yeah. for ions. I think it's uh, a great call. Just spending the force to get it, save the target lock, and I. Th yes. Yeah. yeah. We have an ion. Poe Dabra there. I think we do. 
I think Wes if, is debating whether to spend the focus, and I don't think you do. It's not going to stop you from being ironed, no. and you're only taking one damage, so save that focus for attack. Yeah. And then, hopefully... Well, target lock as well. Oh, hit, hit, That's crit. really strong. Yeah. Double modding. Who'd have thought? It's really yeah, good. Jamie's definitely hoping for some good dice here. Yeah. Oh, he gets um, two, so... One, okay. So just a single. It's a crit going through, though. Okay. Uh, that It's a console fire. Ooh. That's a scary one. Mm. We've, we've yeah. seen that. We've seen that really hurt. He's definitely want to... Jamie's going to want to repair that as soon as possible, I think. Yeah. But whilst Jamie is deciding what action he wants to do, or what move he wants to do, sorry, I just want to remind you guys, if you do like what we're doing here at Out of Art Gaming, you can support us on Patreon with the link in the description below. Oh, getting right into Poe's face there. Will we see... Yeah, there's the barrel roll. Okay. Do we see a link rotate? Oh, I, mean, I, I don't know. know because he's not. I don't one think forward's not going to put him in his rear, is he? I would have. I'm actually surprised he's gone back there. I would have gone forward. Hmm. I would have barrel rolled forward and did a rotate, which would have meant that it was likely that Poe would have been in your back arc. Right now, Although, it could be that has he got, got a Yeah, has he got a corner? I think we might have corner to corner action here. I, I think, think Jamie's might... really hoping for it because if he doesn't, it's a bit of a wasted of a very good eye on there. Yeah. I still think if he'd have gone forward, barrel forward and rotated back, he would have had a shot. Mm. And Wes definitely wouldn't. But I think at this point, Wes might have a shot. Yeah, I'd, maybe, I'm sure Jamie was considering maybe a 4K or something, or a 5, or a yeah. 5 even, but it Where did look, was, it did look a bit have... like he wouldn't clear it. So, so got I, I understand. Oh, console fire triggers, that's an additional damage. Oh, yeah. He oh. went for... Oh, that's... This, this is painful. That's not too console bad. Files generally, I guess. Yeah, console fire is a, a brutal one. Oh, Ooh, he's just two. heroic. So that's two. So we do have both on half. Does Wes have the shot? That is a crit as well. And the crit is a weapons failure. Oh, I think that's helpful for Jamie as well. Very just... helpful for Jamie. I, I, take a, I take a weapons failure of a console fire any day, but it looks like... Wes does have a shot. Just the one Ooh, going. Okay, through. he's got. Is there's hope? I think he's going to be okay. Just needs a bit of paint. He's got to spend the force yeah, to be okay. Anything but a blank was okay. Oh, absolutely nail biting there. That nearly, nearly bit Jamie hard. But we are now into extra time, so the pilots get an additional five minutes to try and finish this game off as they were both at half at the end of the normal play and that peg needs to be pushed back in properly it, yes but there is the K from Kylo no pattern analyzer trigger the, oh sorry uh, he's Flipped over console He's, fire, so yeah, that was no, where Pat was there. No, yeah, I don't think there was anything else he could have done unless he wanted to to die. Yeah, and they're out of range as well. They basically flipped round from where they were a couple of rounds ago, and now they're going to go right back at it. Will they do the same moves? Will Very we see another joust? Yeah, will we see another ion missile? Ooh, that's, that's very cool. aggressive. That's fast, yeah. Oh, oh I'm wondering. What do we do? What do we do? 
got got to be a barrel roll of some sort, yeah. Yeah. Trying to go for that block, I think. What's so yeah, unfortunately in Wes, range of the jam? Yeah, Wes is obviously stressed, so it's not. No, go for the rotate this time. He's going for the rotate. Is is anticipating Wes flying by, which he doesn't. It's a one forward. I mean, he's only got the bullseye cannon. This is ideal for Wes right now because yeah. Jamie's not Jamie's not going to have a shot because his arc is in the back. His turret's in the back. He's only got the bullseye. And I don't think he's in the bullseye. Oh no, Wes, don't do it, don't do it. No, Wesley. Ah, uh, I think Wes missed the bullseye there. I I think he should have stayed where he was and just gone yeah, for the, got aggressive. The downside is, uh, for those who, who aren't aware, and I'm sure most people are, that the official ship base for the Whisper was missing the diagonal lines that marked out where your front and back arcs were only had your barrel roll lines, your front and back, and your bullseye. Uh, that has now been rectified, but uh, a cheat, or a way around others to use the silencer base for Kyle, yep. and just remember that you haven't got a, f a normal front, you've just got a bullseye in your turret. Yeah, and it um, would appear that Wes might have missed that, unfortunately, yeah. which is a shame, because I think, I think that could have been night-night for Kylo there if for a range one shot with yeah, weapons absolutely. failure having been flipped. Oh, it's unfortunate. But again, it's one of those things. Still yeah. great flying from both players. I mean, Ooh. it looked like Jamie was it was going badly for Jamie really early on, but yeah. he's he's pulling it back. I mean, look at that. That's a annoyingly, I think they're out of range, but that's a beautiful bullseye shot if if Jamie had that. Yeah. I wouldn't discount it. Range three is actually a bit it's it further be. than you think. Especially when be. you think this is a slightly smaller board as well. So Yeah, that valid point, yeah. If it is, it's gonna be that's gonna be very satisfying. High yeah. all the force, high perception, bit of Target HP lock. source, and he's 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 on it. Oh he's going Ooh. in. He's going Pat in. Analyzer for the boost, okay. he want, he wants it. And this is probably going to be the final action of extra time, so it is now or never. You, you got to come on, Jamie. You got to do it. You got to do it. I think you'd be silly not to spend high no, perception. Exactly. Come on, you got to do it. Come there on. we there go. You good lad. Good lad. Come on. High perception, range three, bullseye through the obstacle. So, plenty of evade dice for Wes, Predator, Target Lock, and the Force there for Jamie. There's no time left on the clock, so you can just spend everything to Come push on. this through. Everything. One hit. Okay. Spend, spend Target yeah. Lock. Oh, only oh. two hits. I don't think it's going to be enough, oh. but it could be. It could be Green Dice. Ah. Uh, Good no. for Wes. Oh, Wes. Yeah. Right. Wes return shot. This is... Well, that's a hit hit crit. A hit. What was the... Oh, blank hit crit. Okay. It's a trail mix there. Okay. What does... There's plenty of evades there for Kylo. He just yeah. needs two bits of paint. He gets the evades. Yeah. Spends the force, doesn't need to. He is fine. We are going to final salvo here to decide the winner. And you know what? This this has been a really tough and close game. It's not it's not the ideal way to end the game, but you know what? It happens sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see. So that's blank focus crit. Blank focus crit. They've got a tie. Oh. Still going. Hit, hit, focus, focus, hit, crit, and Jamie takes it at final salvo. 
What a oh, way to finish wow. round two there. Great wow. flying from both pilots. Jamie coming into the tournament, getting that win on his first game. Commiserations to Wes there. I thought you both flew fantastically there. Really good fun to watch. Um, but that that's round two there. there so, was, yeah, there was points where that was going either direction. Yeah. But Fraser, thank you very much for joining us for all five games of round two there. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, I absolutely did. Thank you so much, Phil. That was Excellent. brilliant. Well, like I said, we will see you back flying in round three. But guys, that is round two. Hope that you enjoyed that. Round three is coming next week. So don't forget, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below which ships you're enjoying seeing who you think is going to take that top prize and the patreon link is also down in the description for you but we will see you next time mm -hmm.